Survivor Series is two weeks away, and my, how a week changes everything. Now, a week ago, and I'll get to this, I'm going to do this really quickly because it's a little late, but with what we saw last week, we would have seen Team Foley versus Team Punk with the added additions of Foley not even being wrestling in the match and being in ringside, where we would have Ryback as the fifth man, whereas uh, we, had, we had Punk on the team. Now, I'll get to that a little later, why that has changed. But uh, Team Foley, it doesn't really, isn't really that bad, other than Ryback being removed from the match. Uh, and we'll start with that first, because to be honest, it kind of makes a lot more sense, because Survivor Series matches are unpredictable, much like this election. And the reason I do, uh, I'm putting the election with this is because it's tomorrow and, you know, might as well get two or two birds, one stone here. And the reason I make this ultimate prediction because uh, wrestling and politics has not been, well, it's been hand in hand, but not the way you think. Because the way I remember, Jesse Ventura was a governor of Minnesota. And with him being in the running for 2016 for president, you never know. But we'll get more on that as it develops in the next few years. But, to be honest, it makes a lot more sense because politics are not only in, well, politics, but in wrestling as well. But, the reason I say that is because this election tomorrow night, when you vote, and I'm, I'm glad there's early voting and I did that earlier. I'm not saying who I vote for, but I, I will say this. We're screwed either way as a country. And the reason that is because, uh, well, you have President Big Ears who fucked up this country for four years had something that George W. Bush had and made it even worse. Uh, but And then you have the rich bastard that we don't know much about, or at least I don't, is Mitt Romney, and I, I have honestly have not had the best relationship with Mormons as of late. But it's better to have the devil I don't know as president than the devil I do already know and have four more years of hell. But enough about that. You know, Election Day is tomorrow, do what you want with that. And that's not important at this point. What's important is a Survivor Series matchup right now. But that's my two cents on that. But anyway, we have the team of Team Foley represented by Mick Foley at ringside with uh, Randy Orton, Kobe Kingston, and Okan champion, the Ted Team Champions, uh, Team Hell No, and a mystery partner to be announced probably next week when Foley announces the fifth man. And on the other side, we have now Team Ziggler instead of Team Punk. We have Dolph Ziggler, uh, Damian Sandow, Cody Rhodes, Alberto Del Rio, and Wade Barrett, who had a present show in this week in his home country. Now, why do I why do I say the election is un is unpredictable? Like Survivor Series matches, because you can't predict what's going to happen. Because in the election, stupid people will have the majority of the election, regardless of it's early voting or voting tomorrow night. But. Not like not Survivor Series match, you cannot predict who will win and what will happen because, let's face it, it can be 5 on 1, 2 on 4, any combination of numbers you could think of. Just like the election, it could be a 1 vote difference, a multiple vote, vote difference, or a landslide. Much like Survivor Series matchup, it could be the same thing. 5 against 1, 2 on 2, 4 on 3. Never know how close it's going to be, and every vote and every part in a match counts. Can't see politics or wrestling kind of make a lot more sense when you break it down. But this match, honestly, I don't care about. I like the idea, but it has to be something, since Mick Foley's back in the mix of things. Speaking of that, we have more odds, as we have CM Punk, John Cena, and Ryberg. Bleh, I said that wrong because I was yawning a little bit, but Ryberg versus Punk versus Cena in a triple threat match for the WWE Championship. And uh, honestly, I don't know why we're having this match again. When I say again, because Cena will not play a factor due to his injury as of late and the uh, whole AJ scandal. But with that being said, Brad Maddox will not be in the play as Brad Maddox will face... Uh, Ryberg next week, and if he wins, he gets a million dollar contract, which is amazing. 
But, you know, with him being a former FCW Tag Team Champion, I could kind of see him doing well in that match. But that's not until next week. But with this match down the line, I honestly see Punk regaining the gold. Not just regaining, but retaining for a year. Because I think in his contract, actually I know in his contract, that he has it where he can hold the title f at least for a year. So, 364 days, technically he could lose the belt. But I don't see it happening because Punk will probably find a way. And plus, with Ryberg going crazy and Cena being not 100%, I don't know why he would give the belt to either one of them, even though I would love Ryberg to hold the belt for a while. But I think his push is really fast at the moment. I don't think it'll make sense. And finally, the match we already knew for a long time ago, the rematch, uh, Big Show versus Sheamus. I don't really care for this match. Hopefully Ziggler will cash in. But uh, other than that, I don't really care for this one. But I will have to say, for this match, uh, at the last pay-per-view, it was actually, I used it for a fucking piss break, but it wasn't that bad compared to when I came back to see it. Uh, you know, kicking out of the bro kick, the knockout punch, two bro kicks. It was an amazing match, but it just didn't look right. Hopefully the rematch will do better than it already was. But... Like I said, election day is tomorrow. Go vote. Personally, I don't care about politics because, to be honest, for me, it's uh, whoever makes the most sense and runs the country like it should be run. Not like it's been run the past four years, but hopefully we'll see what happens then. And I had to mix it up because election day is tomorrow. I apologize for that. Normally I don't do that, but it is what it is. Much like this clusterfuck of a pay view so far, it's going to be two weeks. We'll see what happens. Anything's possible. And so is this pitiful excuse of an election.